So we'll be discussing on how to put together the Rabbit Model's 90 degree rotating mechanical retracts. Here all the main components are laid out. You can see here this is the main body, the trunnion, the pivot pin, the actual landing gear strut itself, a 1 16th diameter wheel collar, and a 440 bolt that's a half inch in length. The, you'll want to use 1 16th or 0 0.0625 for the axle and the landing gear strut themselves. The, the width of the axle needs to be the width of the retract body itself. The retract body does come with some holes already in it. You can see here this is for the axle. There's also a corresponding hole here in the trunnion. This is for a 132nd actuation wire, which we'll show a little bit later. It's important to keep the tolerances very tight for these holes here. Um, again, they're for a 1 16th inch wire. You can, if need be, slightly clean them out using a 1 16th inch bit. Let's go ahead and start the assembly. First will be to mount the trunnion within the body itself. So you can see here now the trunnion is mounted in the, the body of the retract itself. You can see here the, pin, the pinion or the, the axle has been pushed through. One nice feature about these retracts is they actually do um, retract greater than the 90 degrees. So that allows for more applications uh, depending on your aircraft that you're using. And then when they're extended, they do go exactly 90 degrees. Something I've found is while we want to keep the axle hole in the body exactly 1 16th, going slightly larger for the trunnion itself allows for smoother movement. I've used a ever so slightly larger drill bit. I believe this is 1.6 millimeter in the trunnion and that allows for smoother um, actuation. Another thing you can do as well is to um, put shavings of a graphite on it and that also helps to incre increase the um, smoothness of rotation. Let's go ahead and disassemble this now and walk through the trunnion setup. The trunnion is made up of four components. The trunnion itself, the landing gear wire, which is 1 16th, the 1 16th wheel collar, and the half inch bolt. That is a 440 size. First test to make sure that the landing gear wire moves smoothly and goes all the way in. And next we'll go ahead and we'll add the bolt to the collar and the full assembly. And this is the completed trunnion assembly. You can see here that we have the 1 16th wire is pushed through the trunnion, through the wheel collar, and is set within the trunnion itself. The bolt has been mounted to the wheel collar. Next, we need to make sure that we have the hole drilled out for 1 32nd. That's for the push rod that will actually actuate the retract. Now we'll go ahead and do the full assembly, including having the actuating wire connected to the trunnion. And we have the completed retract assembly. One thing that you may need to do as you're testing out the retraction and the rotation, this edge right here and this edge right here, you might want to put a slight bevel to them uh, in case you maybe have some um, catching of the actuation bolt here. Uh, you can also, as mentioned, put a little bit of pencil shaving and graphite on this. It'll help smooth it out. I've also put a little bit of that on the bolt head itself. But with the actuation, you can see that it rotates.